Hello and welcome to another week of energy reading. Today we're looking at the week of March the 12th through March the 18th, 2018. And on the 17th, March the 17th, which is a Saturday, we actually have a new moon. And what is interesting about a new moon is that it is new, <laughs> so it is in no particular phase. And how that works is that as the moon is new, you actually can see, because it's only slightly illuminated, um, it's actually a very good time to seriously and deeply look at the surface of the moon. And even though we're 392,000 kilometers away or whatever, um, and you may think, how am I supposed to look at, at the surface of the moon? <laughs> it's not really about the moon. It's about the possibilities when you look at analogies. Um, when the, um, the stars and the, the moon um, <coughs> have any bodies, suggest to take a closer look at the surface in analogy it means this is a go this is going to be a very good week to deeply and closer look at your life and also see the impurities of your life and as we go uh, when we go into the energy the overall energy week and then into the individual star signs we will see whether or not we have to make peace this week with the impurities um, of ourselves or if we need to let go of stuff. But the point is, uh, it's a really good idea. There's other important things that happen uh, on the new moon. Um, because it, it's, it's new, it's only uh, about 3% illuminated and it's only illuminated on the right hand side of um, the moon. And when you look at our um, north, east, west, south here, um, you will see that in the, the, the northern part of the, of the moon, um, as you look at it, would be east. And for those of you who do uh, drumming, for instance, uh, I do a lot of drumming and you can read the, the drum face, as it were, you will notice that in the east, you actually drum for, uh, for your guides. So it's a good way of being closer to the guides this week simply because um, they are already illuminated. So looking at guides, and what that really means is do more meditation and journeys. That's what this really means. Um, be closer to them. Now is, the, is a good week to, to enter into conversation with your guides, to see if they can help you. And not just with this week, but, but with your life. Um, so there's loads of stuff that's happening when you look at, um, at heavenly bodies like, like the moon. And remember, we are living on an incomplete planet because the moon is a piece of Earth that broke off. So uh, the Native Americans called her the grandmother because she always watches over us, if that makes sense. So there's loads of things that you can take from um, uh, folklore, from um, looking at the world rather differently, if that makes sense, right? So, um, like I said, the, the new moon is going to be on the 17th, it's Saturday. A lot of people are going to miss it this week because it also happens to be St. Patrick's Day. Go on, you boys in green. <laughs> and um, I have lived with the Irish for 10 years. Um, and you can imagine what uh, great crack it is to, to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, but you can still pay attention, if that makes sense, to, to your life, as it were. So now we're going into the overall energy for the week, March 12th to 18, um, 2018. Hi doggy, hmm? you gotta stay in now. It's, isn't it interesting that you have a doggy and um, you know, when I'm not busy he mostly lies, lies around and when I'm busy he always comes. Anyway, um, fortunately I can't turn the camera around, can't, can't show you now Charlie, can I? Hmm? Lie down boy, lie down, you're a good baby, good baby. Okie dokie, let's, let's look at the overall energy. Uh, for the coming week before we go into the star signs starting with the star sign of Pisces But now first we look at the overall energy of the week March 12th to March 18th 2018 Okay, we have the cat and the parrot. And these are interesting um, symbols and animal deities to have for the overall energy. Because the overall energy is one of independence. So it is a week for all of us to not 
get bucked down by people, situations, um, or relationships, as it were. And you have the parrot, which is about love. And um, in a way, um, even mediation comes, comes into it. Um, so, the, so, the, so it's also about um, being intelligent um, about situations. See, most parrots are actually one person people. So they usually choose a partner for life. Um, that doesn't mean this week we're all going to choose a partner for life. It just means that this week we are focusing on um, the people that are closest to us and only them. That's what independence means. You don't have to be uh, part of a, of a large crowd this week. So um, stay aloof, if that makes sense, this week. Um, that doesn't mean you have to remove yourself, but, but be a little bit detached from what's happening in your life. Uh, because that allows you, as I said earlier, to really look closely at the surface of your life. And it's interesting because um, it's also the week where I will celebrate my 51st birthday, so I'm not sure how close I, I want to be looking at my surface. <laughs> you know, 51 is not a bad age um, at all, but it doesn't have the same ring as, say, 35 or 40. You know, maybe I'm heading towards a midlife crisis and I don't know it yet. <laughs> Just thought I, I showed that in, I, I throw that in, uh, because it's the truth. I, all, all of a sudden, um, these numbers sort of go like, whoa, over 50 quite interesting. <laughs> so let's have a look at the um, individual star signs. Just to recap, this week you have the cat and the parrot for the overall energy. So be be independent, stay away from stuff, um, observe. That's what cats are obviously great in, is observing. Um, observe, be intelligent about your choices and focus really only on those closest to you, right? So that was the overall energy and now we're going into the star sign of Pisces. Pisces. Us Pisces. <laughs> we have the monkey and the spider, which is quite interesting because as we stay away a little bit, it's important to not live in the past. So that means that things that have affected us from the past um, mm. are about to leave us. It's, um, so it's a week for healing, of healing for us Pisces. Um, so remember, we're not living in the past anymore. The monkey represents the past. It also represents evolution. We all primates. Charlie, sorry about that. <laughs> right? So we're not living in the past and it is still important this week to somehow look at the past this week but don't be defined by it because you, we all have to ask Pisces, we have the spider and the spider is the element of protection. What is also interesting is that because the spider builds, uh, builds the web of life, you decide how much space you give each individual in your web of life and maybe it is time to close the door on some people uh, from the past or from memories from the past from some pain from the past so it's not going to be a, a bad week it's just going to be a reflective week mm. for us Pisces right that was Pisces moving into Aries Interesting, because for Aries we have self-acceptance as the importance of the week, for the week ahead, March 12th to the 18th, 2018, because you have the crocodile and the elephant. What is important about the crocodile is that this being has been on this planet for four and a half million years and hasn't changed once. And what that means is that you need to realize you're perfect, or even though perfect is a man-made concept, but you're fine, you're just okay the way you are. So there's no need for you to change, if that makes sense. Just be who you truly are. One of the reasons why um, uh, when, when the crocodile comes up, a lot of people go into like, oh, it's because how they are being portrayed. Oftentimes they're being portrayed as these vicious beasts, um, when in fact a crocodile can take up to uh, uh, 12 young of, uh, into the pouch of their mouth and bring them to safety. It's just it doesn't make the ratings. So their kindness, their, their caring nature, uh, oftentimes isn't shown or isn't seen and therefore isn't, isn't expected to be there, right? Um, but you, 
Aries. Um, you are good just the way you are. You also have the elephant, which means um, strengths. Uh, but it also means that the, uh, your memory, so you remember everything. So if anyone has put trauma in you, if anyone has put um, a dent in your self-esteem, this is the week to realize that you're not the person that they think you are. You are the person you think you are. And um, it's time for you to grow. Right? So there's not that much to do for Aries other than working on your self-esteem. Um, Easiest way is to just wake up in the morning, look at the person in the mirror and, and, and really um, make an effort to smile at yourself um, and to say hello there. Um, it starts with little things. Another really great episode, uh, exercise that I have sort of um, mentioned in other videos is for people who really struggle with their self-esteem. Remember we use the eyes as the entrance point to the soul. And one really good way of doing stuff is actually to take a picture with your phone a selfie and then print it off in black and white because black and white always feels like another person it feels older um, and then you put that somewhere it has to be printed off don't look at it on the phone it has to be printed off uh, you look at this printout every day uh, the picture of yourself and um, look into the eyes of that person that you see which is you and you will re-fall in love with yourself and also learn to make peace Again, with your, um, with your impurities, your insecurities, with everything you don't like about yourself. So that's a good exercise uh, for Aries this week. Um, and that's all you really need to practice this week. Now we're going into Tauruses. Okay, well this card really wants out. Taurus, you're quite a lucky bunch this week because um, these cards are all animal deities and you have the plurality of animal deities. What that means is that this week you're going to be, and you are, fully protected and fully surrounded by your guides. Um, so this week it's important to realize, um, because you have all that extra support, is to be a little bit daring. You have the Kingfisher, which is an animal that can work um, any tree, no matter how difficult uh, it, it feels. So um, you're getting through stuff this week, even if it is initially difficult or you feel um, it's one of those things that cannot be fixed. Um, this is one of the best weeks to um, look at things that aren't working and then um, decide to deal with them. But remember we had the overall energy which was detachment staying away. So you're not going full steam ahead. You're just um, look at things, if that makes sense, and then uh, go gentle um, at, at, uh, with regards to solutions, right? So that's just for Taurus. And then we have Gemini. This is really interesting. I actually say that every week, but it's, it's, it is interesting every week that I see patterns quite easily. We had, um, we had self-esteem uh, uh, for a star sign. Then earlier when we started with Pisces, we had um, uh, not being defined by the past. And now for Gemini, we have the scarab and the butterfly. And that means for, for Gemini this week, it is really important to remember and to realize how important you are. Right? So the scarab is a beetle, and um, it's a revered beetle actually, uh, uh, in Egypt. And uh, because he's part of the insect group, what that really means is that if the insects didn't tend to soil, um, bees probably wouldn't have anything to pollinate. So uh, insects are quite important, but when people look at them, they usually find them unappealing, uh, even creepy. So there's, there's, it is difficult sometimes um, for some people. Um, to make true friends with, with uh, beings that are different. And so um, when you have the scar up, it just means, you know, be with people that are like-minded. That's another exercise probably for the Gemini, is to make sure that you really mingle with spiritual people because you are truly spiritual. So there's no point being with people where you have to explain yourself every five minutes because they just don't get you, right? The other good thing is uh, that Geminis have the butterfly as the next card. And not only does that denote transformation, it means you're ready 
you're absolutely ready for new beginnings, right? So if you remember that you are the most important person on the planet, um, as far as you're concerned, um, and that you should look after yourself and at yourself this week, uh, remember what we said about the surface of the moon, um, and then be ready for, for new beginnings. That allows you um, to focus on your needs. And that's another thing that is really important for Gemini, is to really focus on the things that you feel are good. Okie dokie. Going into Cancerians. Cancer now. Interesting. Uh, Cancerians have have the rum and insects. So remember, just just um, before Cancerians, we had Gemini, and it was also about um, uh, insects. So again, there's a pattern, and I said I said that a lot. There seems to be overlapping issues and overlapping um, things to do for for star signs. We're now with the Cancerians, and what that really means is that uh, for because you have the rum which is in a way an animal of sacrifice um, unfortunately loads of loads of goats and sheep are being sacrificed still which is uh, again we're not changing topic here topics here but all beings want to live and it's absolutely bs um, to sacrifice someone just to appease some god because a truly divine being doesn't need bloodshed right just my two cents <laughs> Um, so there are changes coming to Cancerians. The interesting thing is that you have the insects following the rum, and what that really means is the changes that you that you are going to make that may feel like a sacrifice, that may feel difficult. That means that um, you know life in its divine order is not always easy, um, but it is important that you that you realize that what matters is how you feel about it right so that's the that's the main thing for for cancerians um to not be um afraid and alarmed when this is going to be uh, or if this is going to be or should this be um a week where you feel i need to change here somehow or this needs to change here somehow right um because you're right things probably need to change uh, for 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 most cancerians um, and uh, the message is it is important that you look at it and bring it about okie doke going into leos now just draw onto the other deck Very interesting. Uh, Leos have the horse and the mouse, and uh, in other words, you need a lot of space. It doesn't mean you have to run away. <laughs> that makes sense. But uh, remember, this is a week, like we said earlier, with the over energy um, to detach yourself a little. And space means just that, you know, um, it, because it allows you um, a better view at what's going on in your life for 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 Leo. The other important thing is because you have the mouse which is one of the few rodents that are not scared of heights. In other words, you see things exactly the way they are. Um, so as you step back a little, as you allow yourself some more space um, to look at your life and remember the impurities uh, of your life, the things that aren't quite working, if that makes sense, right? So it's not just an overall cleanse. It's like saying like this issue has been with me for a while and I need to somehow get a, get a grip on it. Um, and get a handle on it. Um, that's what you look at, as detached as you possibly can. Uh, but the important thing is to realize that when and as you look at it, your immediate perception is the truth. You see it exactly for what it is. That doesn't mean it's going to be super easy to fix it, uh, but it means that your perception uh, of... of um, topics or issues that you look at um, is off 
in as a matter of fact it's not off at all you see it exactly for what it is so use that knowledge to bring about change okay there was leo going into virgo Okay, Virgo, you might feel a little, hmm, what's the best word, stuck this week. You have the Arctic wolf and the grey squirrel. And the wolf is a leader, but the Arctic wolf just lives in the Arctic where food is scarce and opportunities are scarce. So um, even though you, you um, can be quite the leader, you can, um, your, your advice is usually sound, um, your words make sense, your action makes sense, not everybody gets it, right? So that's just the Arctic wolf. Um, and what they're saying to you is that it's time for you to, um, again, um, free yourself a little bit from people that are dismissive of you and that argue with you and that don't get you so that you actually progress forward, if that makes sense. Um, then you have the grey scribble, which is about realizing that sometimes, you know, you stay in situations too long. Um, you may collect a lot of um, information, um, um, especially in relationships. That sort, of, that sort of thing is what I'm getting here. It's not so much work-related, it's more um, personal relationships, what the guides are talking about here. Um, and sometimes collecting all that stuff means that you actually lose some of it on, on your way up the tree uh, to process it all. And maybe um, you have stayed enough, or maybe you realize this week that things aren't changing unless you help a little, right? So that's the main message, is uh, to, to um, well, be heard. That's the other thing about the, about the wolf, you know, uh, being, being a pack leader, being, being, being seen, being um, paid attention to. All these things are important for Virgos this week. Going into Libra. Libra this week, you have the sparrow hawk and the snowy owl. And that means to take things really easy this week. Right? Remember the overall energy was to, to, to be independent and slightly detached. Uh, but observant, right? Hence the cat that we had uh, when we look at the overall energy. And you have the hawk. And the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So this is about observing rather than barging in. So you observe this week. And uh, because you have the owl, which oftentimes draw an auditory map to see how far away their food is from the undergrowth, um, you need to listen this week. You know, pace yourself right, hang about, observe but listen to what's being said around you. Uh, and that's sort of the, the, the important thing, is to pay attention to the actions of others around you. And if you feel that they impede your growth and that they hinder you or um, seriously affect um, where you are trying to go, then that's the change you need to bring about, okay? So that was Libra, going into Scorpio. For Scorpio, you have the moose and the timber wolf. So this is about, um, again, like I said, over energy is to, to step back a little. Um, but this is a week to be undeterred and be in your strengths and be the leader that you know you can be and that you know you are. It means once you know that, uh, or once you feel that your truth is the truth, um, and then it is time to stick to your guns this week and, and pay attention, right? You have the moose, which is an animal's antlers. Antlers mean protection, which means you're, you're perfectly within your rights um, to um, hold your ground and, um, you know, be steadfast in, in how you see the world. And um, so it is important for, for you this week to um, stand your ground, really, um, and at all times, uh, be aware that what you feel, or where you feel rather, where you feel um, to go and to grow, 
um, is important this week. And they're asking you to, in a way, um, take the reins of your life, take charge again, but in a detached manner. So you're not, again, this is not a week for anybody uh, so far, um, and we're already at, at Scorpio. So this isn't a week uh, for, for arguments. This isn't a week for deep, long, tedious conversations. This is more a week of observation, um, seeing what's going on and making first steps to, to being heard and to, and to change. Um, uh, especially change um, how people treat you if that makes sense. I have a little quote here, just on my, on my table here, which is quite interesting. It comes from uh, an American poet, uh, Emily Dickinson, and it says, the soul should always stand the jar, ready to welcome the ecstatic experience. And that's what, uh, that's really important for all the star signs uh, so far, and I'm sure for the, for the following ones as well. Um, we are accumulating experiences here. And they should be ecstatic, and they should be fun, and they should be deep, and they should be um, worth having. So anyone that holds you back on that quest, ultimately, is defeating your purpose. And that shouldn't happen, right? So that's something to look at uh, this week. So now we're going into Sagittarius. And Sagittarius get an extra card. First time now we have three cards. <laughs> you have the Canada Goose, the Polar Bear and the Elk. For um, Sagittarius, it's important this week to be patient with situations and have patience, which means that solutions are not quite here yet. Um, things will probably stay um, difficult this week. Um, and it's important to realize that the situation that you are in, or the situations that you are in, have made you vulnerable. That's the polar bear. Polar bear are all about um, uh, femininity, uh, oftentimes womanhood. It's, it's about um, healing. And of all the bears, the polar bear is the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So the main message here is to remember how much strength you have, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't mess with a bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, also realize that um, um, feeling trapped, feeling bucked down, has taken a toll, a toll on you. Um, good thing is your, your end card, so to speak, is the elk. And the elk, again, is an animal that is quite strong, that doesn't uh, sink in when the terrain gets difficult, and it has antlers. So you're fully protected, in a way, while you exercise uh, um, the, uh, mm. the, the patience that you need to get there. And also, when patience is needed, it's not a standstill, it just means it takes a little longer um, before things are sorted, right? That's Sagittarius going into Capricorn. You gotta stay in now, boy. You gotta stay in. So, second last star sign. We only have Capricorn and Aquarius left. And for Capricorn, you have the Grey Fox and the Wolverine, which is quite interesting because the Wolverine, in many ways, um, is related to canines, which the Grey Fox obviously is a member of. In other, in other words, um, Capricorns, it is time for you to realize that you are an old soul. You have been here many times, you have been around the block. In other words, you have um, certainly earned your stripes. And it's important that you look at the progress you have made, the, the value that you bring to, to um, other people's life, and, uh, and take some credit for it. It's really, really important. The, in this depiction, I don't know if you can see it, um, with the Wolverine here, um, he's going up a tree, which, uh, which denotes the fact that you are um, making progress, that you have made progress in your life. You're not at the bottom. You're not where you probably feel you are. Charlie, shush. We gotta stay in now. Gotta stay in. Be a good boy. Gotta, gotta be a good boy now. Hmm? Stay in. Good boy, right? So you have made lots of progress already, um, but also you, 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 you shouldn't be afraid of, of uh, climbing the rest of, of, of the way, if that makes sense, right? So that's, that's important. Um, 
what, I, what I'm getting the strongest for mm -hmm. Capricorn is to realize that, that mm -hmm. your, your words make sense. You know your stuff. And it's time that people paid attention to, to that fact. And so in other words, don't let people walk all over you. Don't let, don't, don't let them treat you as if you were some sort of a, I don't know, um, a daft person, if that makes sense, right? Who hasn't got any notion uh, of, of life and doesn't have any skills, right? Um, going into the last star, star sign for the week, which is Aquarius. And like I said earlier, we're looking at the week, week of March the 12th to the 18th, 2018, with a lovely new moon on the 17th, right? There's another fox here. Um, Capricorn had the, the gray fox, and um, for Aquarius it is the kid fox. Like I said, kid fox are all about being an old soul. It's also about um, being resourceful, being intelligent, um, but you have the kid fox, which is a fox that only lives in the desert. Um, it's a bit like 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 the Arctic. You okay, boy? It's a bit like the Arctic, where where um, no, we gotta stay in now. Gotta stay in. Where um, opportunities are aren't easy to come by. In, in other words, you're losing a little bit of space um, and opportunities, and you need to you need to make sure that you move on to a better and greener pastures. And that's why you have the bald eagle here. Right, and that just means that when you, as you pay attention, and when you pay attention, things will come to you. You will see opportunities. In other words, it's okay. What you what you need to uh, do, not do, Charlie, stop it now. What you need to not do is to um, ask, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? All these things don't don't work because you're looking for direct answers. And um, so you don't trust. It's important to just go with the flow and ask the universe, show me, and then they show you energetically um, where you will um, thrive or what you will thrive at best at this given time in your um, development, and in your evolution. So it is much better to trust. Um, and, and also, you have the bald eagle and his talons can, can slice bones. So you're quite a strong person, but you need to keep going and, and things will come to you. So you, what you can't do this week, um, uh, Aquarius, or, or, or shouldn't do anyway, is to be energetically low. If you are semi-depressed, if you are very low energetically, you're not seeing new beginnings that come your way and new opportunities that come your way. And because you have the eagle, um, it means opportunities are coming your way this week. Um, remember the overall energy that, that we had earlier, where we said about, um, you know, looking at the... <laughs> sorry, it just, it just stopped there. Um, what I was saying is because you have, you have the eagle, it's, it's important to realize that you have... Um, that, uh, um, that opportunities come to you as you pay attention, but you need to make sure that you're energetically quite high, right? So, that's, that's the um, energy reading for the week, March 12th to the March 18th, 2018. Um, you know, it just so happens that my 12-year-old doggy, uh, um, you know, didn't think I should record this during the day, I suppose. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to W him now. And I see you all next week, I hope. See you soon.